I thought I'd make a quick video on how to program the schedule um, or schedule, depending how you like to say it, in the uh, Bosch Easy Control app. Uh, for me, it took me a little while to sort of get my head around it. Um, so I thought I'd explain some of the bits around the app. And I can't seem to find much online that tells you anything about this. So hopefully this will prove useful. Um, so if you look at the circle in the middle of the temperature, down the bottom you've got a hand symbol and to the right of it you have a clock. When you're in a hand symbol, the app is in manual mode, which basically means I select a temperature here, so I select 22. And uh, on the right hand side, you'll notice that the demand has gone red. It's, it's now the boiler is now going to come on because I want 22 degrees in temperature. If I knock that down to 15. And uh, now it's gone back to 15. So that 21 degrees in the middle there is the temperature of my Bosch Easy Control um, thermostat that's on the wall, basically. Um, so if I want to go to schedule, um, I have to tap the little clock next to the hand. So I've just switched over there to schedule. And you'll notice in the top left hand corner, there's a sofa that says heating. Um, below that, very shortly, you should see um, a schedule appear and it comes up none. So what's basically happened is my schedule's in place, but the last demand I had was 15 degrees. When my schedule reaches a time, so say 10 o'clock tonight where I want the heating to go to 19 degrees, it will then override that and then display up there that it's now on the uh, 90 degree schedule, if you see what I mean. So um, now let's go into the schedule and have a look. So at the top left hand corner you've got three lines, if I tap those lines, and then on the, on the left hand menu select scheduling. Um, so I have a combi, which means when I turn on my tap, I get hot water through the boiler and it heats uh, on demand. So there is no schedule for this. I guess this is for if you have a system where you have mass storage and um, a water tank and you want it scheduled on when it heats the hot water. But obviously with a combi you don't need this, so ignore that. If I go into heating, you've got a number of options here. So what Optimum Start does, it allows you to, um, if, if I say, set my temperature to 21 degrees at 7 a.m. The optimum start will make sure that at 7 a.m., by the time it reaches 7 a.m., I'm at 21 degrees. If I turn that off um, at 7 a.m., it will switch the boiler and say, I'm now demanding 21 degrees. The boiler will come on and then heat up the house to 21 degrees. So if you know you get a bang on seven, you want the house warm, I would have that set to one. Fireplace, I don't 100% get this, so I'm going to turn it on, you can have a quick read yourself. From what I understand, this is basically where, you know, your your room is already warmed up by your radiator, you, you, by your fireplace, sorry. You don't want the radiator in the room heating um, while the fireplace is on, um, so you can have this mode. Um, but to be honest, it sounds a little bit fiddly and it's probably better when you um, have the proper uh, radiator valves installed uh, that, that you link to this app, which I don't have. So clock programs. So by default, when I came in here, I had four, four timers per day and there were all sorts of schedules all over the place. Um, so there's a number of things you can do here. Um, number one is I can... Uh, edit and I can delete the whole program. You see the one at the top is called Owl's Schedule. Um, if I delete that, all the Monday to Sunday will go and uh, all the programs will go and I have to create a new program. The alternative I can do is I can uh, tap on day. So I'm now going to tap on Monday and Monday's open. Now you look down the bottom, I can swipe through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and so on. Okay. Now this is where I got a bit thrown. So I had four timers in here. I thought I don't want four timers, I only want two. Um, and I couldn't get my head around how to delete them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select edit and I'm going to add a third timer. So you notice now I've got three timers. I'll just take whatever the defaults are for the moment. So now I've got three timers. Yeah, and every time I click add, you can add another timer um, and so on until you've got as many timers as you want. And that timer is, so at 7am it's coming, the demand will be 20.5. At 12, 
it's going to be 15. At 1205, it's still 15, so there's no difference. So you notice at the top, 15 remains a solid bar. Then at 10 o'clock, it goes to 19. So I want to get rid of those two middle ones. So if I do edit and then select delete, you notice the times just shifted slightly to the right. All you have to do is tap to the left of them and there's tick boxes. And on the top right hand corner, you have a little dustbin, tap that and boom, there you go. And then once you're happy with that time, you click on edit and you click copy day two. So now I can say, right, the Monday settings, I want that all the way through the week because we're working at home at the moment with COVID and all the rest. I would have this, normally I'd have a Monday to Friday set for when we're in the office and a Saturday and Sunday set when we're at home. So now when I go back to my clock programs, they've repeated the same thing across all those timers. And that's it, it's as simple as that. So back to the heating, um, schedule's now in place because it's on, it's set to none because the last demand I put in was 15. Uh, but if I tap on the none, it brings up my schedule. So I know that at 10 o'clock, the next demand that will be sent to the boiler is 19 degrees. So on the right hand side of the dial in the middle, that will suddenly click to 19 at 10 p.m. So it's actually quite easy to use. At the moment in the summer, I'm just sticking with manual mode and I'm leaving my boiler right down at five at the moment um, because obviously weather's not that cold. Um, so because I'm in manual mode, the boiler will permanently stay off. And then when I get to winter, I'll turn on my schedule and go from there. I hope you found this video useful. Um, any questions or queries or any comments, uh, indeed, just put them below. Thank you.